Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial on Microcontroller 8051. This tutorial is in continuation to the timer and counter operation of 8051. In this tutorial, we'll discuss timer modes. There are four modes in which timers of 8051 operate uh, and they can be selected using the M0 and M1 bits and we already discussed that these bits are present in T mod register and these bits are present for timer 0 and timer 1 as well so you'll find two sets of these bits one for timer 0 and one for timer 1 and placing a 0 0 will put this timer in mode 0, 0, 1 will put this timer in mode 1, 1, 0 will put this timer or counter in mode 2 and 1, 1 will put this timer and counter in mode 3. Now, <coughs> what happens is the operation of timer is pretty simple which is explained in the previous tutorial that whatever value we stored in the timer register uh, bits and in the form of bits that will be incremented and will eventually reach uh, FF, FF if, uh, if we consider both the timer registers TL and TH So, but how do we increment the bits? What thing determines the increment time that is represented here in this block diagram? Uh, there are two modes in which timer counter operates. One is timer mode, the other one is counter. As we can see, the timer mode takes its increment time from oscillator frequency whatever the oscillator frequency you are connected to is divided by 12 and that time period becomes the pulse input of the timer and with that pulse duration it will start incrementing the number and on the other hand if you wish to use it as a counter you'll find two pins uh, for timer 1 and timer 0 on the IC <coughs> and whatever clock frequency you apply there the time period is calculated from that and that time is applied to the pulse input so uh, and by the way, this switch is selected by C slash T bar. If it is a 0, it is timer mode. And if it is a 1, it is the counter mode. A 0 here would suggest that it should take its pulse input from timer. And a 1 here would suggest that it should take its pulse input from counter. Now... <coughs> Once we know that um, the time period is calculated from the oscillator frequency or from the clock which is attached to the TI or T0 pin of the IC, we'll need to see what all modes are possible in AT51. There are four modes. This is mode 0 and it is popularly known as mode 0 is known as 13 bit timer. Mode 1 is the simplest which is known as 16 bit timer mode. Then we have mode 2 which is eight bit auto reload mode. Uh, I'll, 
I'll show you the significance of these modes once I draw the block diagram and mode 3 is 8 bit timers uh, but both the 8 bit timers are uh, taken from TL0 and TH0 so let's start with mode 0 mode 0 is the 13 bit timer mode and the 13 bits are taken from uh, 5 bits are taken from the lower timer register and 8 bits are taken from the higher timer register and mode 1 is 16 bit timer where both timer registers TL0 and TH1 will will be completely fully utilized so 8 bit timer here 8 bit timer together they will form a 16 bit number which will go from 0000 to F F F F H although you can put any intermediate number but it will eventually uh, go up to F F F F H and will overflow there Timer mode 2 is the most uh, difficult to understand mode because uh, we we specify an auto reload value in TL register. We specify an auto reload value. And the timer will go up to FF because it's working in an 8 bit timing mode then the auto reload value is again put it put in into the lower timer register for example the auto reload value is 30H so every time the timer overflows it does not reset itself to 00H it will reset itself to 30H because 30H is the auto reload value which is put again and again into TL register both for timer 0 and timer 1 and that auto reload value is kept safely stored in TH register so this register does not participate in the counting process it is safely storing a value which has to be put again and again into TL register when whenever it overflows and mode 3 is the timer operation in 8 bit mode in order to use 8 bit timers we would not use T timer 1 both C timer 1 timer registers TH1 and TL1 will stay dormant the 8 bit registers of timer 0 which are TL0 and TH0 will act as two 8 bit timers individually and their modes can be selected uh, or their controlling can be done through the T mods register 0 to 3 bits in TMOD registers will control TL0 and 4 to 7 bits will control TH0 so in other words uh, you can think of this mode as uh, the half of this mode 1 mode 1 is a full fledged simple 16 bit timer mode when uh, it it overflows at FFFFH here it will overflow at FFH but the two timers which are going to be used are TL0 and TH1 and timer 1 is not participant in mode 3 in mode 1 however um, timer 0 uses its 16 bit register set and timer 1 also uses its 16 bit register set 
well that is how the modes of the timers are configured in 8051 i hope you liked the tutorial and if this tutorial helped then please click on the like button and consider subscribing to the channel you have a good day ahead bye